Welcome back to HammerJoys.net. I'm going to show you today Wolfram Alpha, Alpha excuse me, which is um, it's a search app with a difference. Now you might oh you see what I was testing it with before. You might um, you might have heard of Wolfram Alpha before. It's been sort of in the works and around. I think there's a web-based version for quite some time. Um, the difference with this search engine is it tries to provide you with just facts. Um, so, if we put in orange juice and tell it go, it comes back with, first of all it tells you at the top, sort of, uh, assuming orange juice is a food, uh, assuming any type of orange juice, so it tells you kind of the assumptions it's made, um, it's then telling you kind of, it's, telling, it's going to talk about one cup, it's going to give us nutrition facts, total amount of calories, um, gives a lot of different vitamin content. Uh, well, you can see that on the camera. Sorry, um, my word. Gives us a lot of information: total calories, carbohydrates, and the breakdown. Um, minerals. My God, it keeps going and going. It even tells you how much it'll weigh. One cup. This is, of course. There's buttons for more. I don't, I don't even don't click them. Um, Let's just put in London. So, assuming London is a city, assuming London, United Kingdom. So it kind of tells you once again what it's assuming we're, we're asking about. Um, population 12.58 million, that's from a 2007. It gives us, shows the map, shows where it is. Gives a more detailed map. I'm really sorry, this doesn't look good on my uh, screen. I hope you can see. Gives you the, the current local time, the current local weather. Uh, oh, look, it tells you the sort of 23 feet above sea level. Uh, nearby cities, nicknamed the Big Smoke. Notable people born in London. Well, that's interesting, right? I'm going to try my hometown, see what information I get. Which is Kibworth. Anyone that watches, or oh, I can't even what it's called, This England. There was a, there was a TV show about my, uh, my village. See, hardcore, it's not hardcore, that's the little bit we want beach in. Oh, I have searched this before, actually. Anyway, so, um, sorry, I'm getting sidetracked in my uh, review. I'm sure you don't want to know about it. Uh, they tell me as well it, it can complete complex quadratic equations and this, that, and the other, and scientific stuff for you. Um, I don't even know, I'm just going to randomly whack some stuff in and then tell it to work it out for me. Yeah, yeah, okay. So 45 over 3 times 853 squared is 1.10,914,135. I mean, I knew that anyway, and that is correct. I was testing it, and it's passed. Um, I mean, now, one of the things I don't like, a lot of people rave, oh, yeah, I love the double keyboard, which I suppose, why not? The entry box is only the little bar at the top, and you don't need the rest of the space at this point. But I find it very annoying. Why? Why is it not using my keyboard? Why has it brought this keyboard in? Um, input method. So I've got swipe selected, look, and it still uses the Android keyboard. So anyway, a small downer. The, the double keyboard, yeah, it's quite a nice feature, but let me use my keyboard at the bottom. Would be my suggestion. Um, so all in all, I think it's, uh, you know, okay, I'm going to try one, one more rainfall. Oopsie. And, oh my word, come on. In London, you know, that's the idea would be it can tell me how much. Assuming London, United Kingdom, result for London, no precip precipitation. I'm putting that talking about right now. This gives you the current week, one day in the week. The precipitation amount, maximum point. Okay, so I don't know if you can see all this. Fine, that's I wanted to or maybe I should have said rainfall in London in two thousand and nine. Let's try that and see what it comes up with. Now I should tell you at this point, oh, okay, so it's London two thousand and nine, yeah, it results. Okay, so it gives us uh, kind of a funny dot graph for how much rain fell. 
maximum was 1.7 inches on Friday, August the 7th. Show metric, show monthly. So, I mean, it is a wealth of information. And there's the month. Oh, wow, that's quite clever. Look. Um, anyway, it is a wealth of information, but it is $1.99. Uh, whether or not it's useful to you, if you're a student, it probably is. I don't know. There's the QR code for Wolfram Alpha. Alpha. It's Andy from hemadroids.net.